Hi friends, today I am going to show you how to auto lock the BitLocker drive. For example, I will show you a BitLocker drive it was locked. Now I am going to open this BitLocker drive. So after giving the password, I am just hitting enter and it opens the BitLocker drive. So <coughs> What is the problem in this drive, BitLocker drive is, once you have opened the BitLocker drive, you cannot relock the BitLocker drive. That is the problem which the Windows was, Windows 7 and Windows 8 OS was having. So, what we need to do for enabling the auto lock in the BitLocker drive is, we just need to do some simple BitLocker tutorial so that we can enable the auto lock feature in this operating system. So, for example, if you go to this context menu, you can see change BitLocker password that will ask you to change the password by giving the old password. And if you go to there to manage BitLocker, you can see in which drive I have enabled the BitLocker and uh, and what are the options which is available here are you can back up the recovery key again you can remove the password or you can change the password you can also add the smart card and you can also add this feature called the turn on auto unlock and you can also turn off this bit locker drive that is you can turn off the bit locker in this queue drive and what is this turn on auto unlock for this feature to get enabled, you need a, you need a TPE protection, which will be by default. You need that feature to be enabled in your motherboard. So, normal system is normal system which we are using in our home or in some small business areas. It will not be available. You need to buy a special motherboard for this, um, and that feature should be enabled. That is it. TP feature should be in it. so that the uh, TPM administration feature should be enabled. For example, I will go to this TPM administration, and here you can see this compatible trusted platform model cannot be found on this computer. And later it should be turned on in the BIOS. And this TPM feature should be enabled in your from your motherboard. So I am not having the TPM feature in my system so what I'm going to do is I'm now I'm going to show you how to auto lock the bit locker drive for every 10 minutes or 20 minutes or half an hour or whatever time you you need you can set this feature for that <coughs> I'm going to show you here you can see I'm going to show you the to enable this trick by using the command prompt and also by using that task scheduler so before that you need to run this command prompt with the help of the elevated privileges now I have opened the command prompt with the minimal rights so I'm just going to close it and I'm just right click on the command prompt and I'm just going to you just press the shift key and uh, hit the right click right mode right mouse button and you can just uh, here you can see run as administrator figure here you can see administrator command prompt so it was running with the elevated privileges and now I'm going to show you which command I'm going to use for enabling that feature? So it was manage iPhone BD. So here you can see if you want to manage a bit locker volumes, you from the command prop you can use these commands to manage the bitlocker drive from the command prompt so you can see the status of the bitlocker volume you can on or you can off 
uh, you can encrypt or decrypt you can pause you can erase and you can also lock so you can also unlock the bitlocker data and now i am going to use this command that is iphone lock this is the command which i am going to use and here you can see the help menu to how to see here you can see the command which exactly i am going to use here now i'll show you the status of the bitlocker drive you see the bitlocker drive was open, open status and now i am going to use this command to close on the drive which i am going to use is q drive I just enter the command and hitting enter. Uh, here you can see the volume key is no logged and we'll just confirm it. Yeah, here you can see the bit locker is no asking for password so that the bit lo this confirms you that the bit locker was now locked. And I'm just going to open the bit locker drive. Yeah, no. Now what I am going to do is I am going to go to task scheduler. Here I am going to create a base. Sorry, I am going to create a create task. You just don't need to go to the basic task. You can go to the create task. And here I am just going to auto lock Q drive copying the content I'm just pasting it and here you can see run with the highest privileges since the command should be executed with the highest privileges I am just going to give this option and here you can set this option for us Windows 8.1 since I'm using Windows 8.6 one operating system I am enabling this feature so if you have Windows 7 or Windows 2008 or Windows Vista or Windows 7 2008 you can enable these other kind of options I'm just enabling this option Windows 8.1 and the next thing I'm going to here you can leave it as a default thing that is a run only when the user is logged on and I'm going to go to the trigger part and I'm going to select new Yeah, here begin the task. Here I will show you. Here you can select different options, but uh, now I am going to select on a schedule and I'm just going to select daily and recurring days. I just set it as a default and the start time you can leave it as it is and this is the important thing which you need to do it i'm just going to select repeat the task every 10 minutes 15 minutes for a duration of one day that is if i have enabled this command for each and every 15 minutes the command will be executed and it will auto lock the bit lock drive so now in order to show you you and complete this tutorial in a fast manner I'm just going to give this as one minute so just try to give it as one minute yeah okay I'm just going to enable this option and I'm just going to select OK. So here you can see at 10 4 a.m. every day after trigger, repeat every one minute for a duration of one day. That is enabled, and the action which I'm going to set is yeah, this is the option I'm just going to select. Shall I start a program in the command? I'm just going to copy this command. Yeah. 
paste it and this one I'm just going to give here as an argument okay here I'll just give exe the path be sure you have given correct path you can also check by giving the correct path here yeah, it was here optional q drive okay i've just given the command and the and now i'm going to go to the condition just leave it as it is since i have given the scheduler here you can leave it as it is and you can also leave it as it is if you want and here you can see stop the task if this no longer runs. You just need to disable this because if your PC, PC was off, that is, you, if you don't on your PC for more than three days, then this task will get stopped. So you just disable this option and do not start this new engine. Many settings you can give it as a default. I am just going to select OK. And here you can see this option here. And the last one, yeah, turn system. Okay, I'll just run this command. You see, it was locked. I'm just going to unlock this drive. And let's see what is happening after one minute. Yeah, here you can see the drive was locked. This is how you need to do that. Enable the auto lock feature in Windows 8.1. That is, you can enable the auto bit lock feature for a particular drive. And this is all for the tutorial. And I will meet you soon with the next tutorial. Thank you. Bye bye.